everyone and welcome back to the 100 baby challenge where we are about to maybe sell all of our dragon fruit so that we can hopefully move house in this episode i'm hoping that we can move like as soon as these guys come back from school that is my hope and my plan and my destiny so i don't know okay bridget you have harvested that let us have a look and see if we can move house. Okay, yes, we definitely have the funds to move house now. That is awesome. We're not gonna move just yet because it feels kind of wrong to move as the kids are still at school. I would be very confused if that happened to me at least. One thing we also have to do is um, to get all of our plants in our inventory here. Um, oh, we have a lot of stuff in our inventory. Good, well, I'm gonna start moving this stuff to our inventory so that we don't lose the dragon fruit when we move because fucking hell that took us a while okay there we go gardener you can definitely leave because there's literally nothing for you to do um you're sleeping oh yeah you aged up in the last episode i completely forgot good <laughs> well she's sleeping so that's that's nice um did i show off her makeover i don't feel like i did i'm gonna do that now okay so beth this is her everyday outfit and um to be honest i didn't really I don't know. I didn't really care <laughs> about uh, Beth when I was uh, making her outfit. So a lot of it is just kind of slightly random, as you can tell. I went, I started going with a pink vibe after a little while. This is not quite pink, but you know, same here. She just ended up wearing a lot of pink and that's, that's who Beth is. I don't really know what else to say. She's wearing some clothes and this one especially I really do quite like. It's not as pink as her other outfits, but I, I like it. And I gave her some new hair as well because her hair was a little bit ridiculous. Okay, so let's have a look. What should we be doing with you? You wanna play three games of chess. Um, You already have a skill at level four. Christ, you do. These guys' motor skills are kind of insane. How about you um play with yourself then? That sounded really wrong. I just realized when I said it like that, but yeah go do that um bridget what are you up to you're gonna go play on the computer nope you are not how about you go exercise go box a little bit oh yeah we have we have a treadmill upstairs as well go work out on that instead there we go bridget is working on that and i am gonna just kind of fast forward until everyone gets back home because i want to move into the new house god damn it okay bridget is feeling good i need you to continue to work out as well please there's a lot of stuff broken in this house right now but i can't really be bothered oh um the teacher announces some outdoor study time to get the kids out of the class for a while should andy take his studying outside or just go hang outside with his friends study outside that's literally what the teacher told you to do you are sleeping i definitely told you to go play some chess so please do that uh, what are you sad about bridget missing family okay is it just because your social is low how about you guys play a game together then uh, can I just join the game? No, okay. Yeah, join game. You guys have a little bit of fun together. That should, yeah, that's bringing her social up. Cool. Bridget is also feeling uncomfortable because she's fatigued from a workout, which uh, makes sense. We have pushed her quite hard with the workout thing recently. Okay, everyone is back home. Um, Andy's a star, star student? Oh, straight A student. Uh, Wilbert is an A student. Marie is an A student. Bob is an A student. Beatrice, be, be, wow, Beatrice is an A student, Rory's a B student, uh, did we not hear anything about Wilbert? Oh, Wilbert is an A student. Okay, so there's gonna be a lot of aging up in um, this episode, um, but for now, let's move to the new house. Bridget, we need to do it, I'm so excited. Do it now, move, 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 move. Okay, now I'm hoping that now that I click sell furniture, that does not include our inventory. Um, because that is going to sell the dragon fruit as well. We'll see. If it does, I'm just going to go back and replay this bit. Okay, guys. Oh, I was going to say, okay, guys, this is our new house and then like dramatically reveal it, but that didn't work with that um, intro. Hang on. Right, everyone. Welcome to our new house. It's massive, isn't it? <laughs> it's absolutely fucking massive. Um, and I don't know. I kind of like it that way. Shall we go on a tour? Um, okay, this is the main entrance. As you can see, it has two um, main doors, so it's quite big. We also have a gnome in the garden, which is good. Um, if we go into this mode, so this is the hallway that you come into. Um, it's not very big, it's just kind of, you know, stairs. There's also stairs downstairs. Let's start going this way. Um, so this is our main dining room. Um, this room is really big and I didn't really know what to do with it. Also, while I'm here and talking, this is actually, this is not my design. I am terrible at designing like actual houses. I like 
doing the interiors, but I'm terrible at the actual houses. So I got this off the gallery. It was absolutely beautiful and perfect for my needs. So that was amazing. Um, and I kind of followed the, um, like I bought it, like I put it down furnished and then I just kind of changed it to our needs. So a lot of this is um, from the original. Um, I did, however, change this table to be a little bit more quirky and a little bit more like us, I guess. Um, I was considering to have two dining rooms or two dining tables, I mean, in this room because we often have guests over and that sort of thing, but I don't know, maybe we'll add like another little table here or something when, when we invite guests over. I'm not quite sure. Um, we'll get to that room in a minute, but first I wanna go to the kitchen. Um, here's the kitchen, it's not particularly exciting, but you know, we still have a double fridge and uh, we have a little music thing here for Bridget to listen to music to when she is cooking. Uh, we also have three um, places for toddlers to sit and then over here we have, um, this was actually a bigger room, um, included that room there, but I made it smaller because I didn't really know what to do with it and it, it was already a bar so I was like, I'll just keep it as a bar, that's fine. Um, and then what I did in here was just make another bathroom because that was the one thing that I was a little bit worried about in this house was that there weren't that many bathrooms. Well, there were, but I was concerned anyway about <laughs> not having enough bathrooms. Um, this door here leads to another bathroom, I believe. Yeah, so this is just another bathroom with a shower and a whatever. Bathrooms aren't that exciting. Um, the most exciting room and the room that we're probably gonna spend the most time in is this room right here. This is obviously the playroom. Um, I've put in a couple of things like this thing here that we didn't have in the previous house. Um, and then overall, I'm just really happy with it. I really like this little sitting area. I just saw that that lamp glitches through, so I'll sort that out in a minute. But yeah, just like the fact that here's the TV and you can sit here, but we can also like have food here when we need to. And then we have um, a little cooler. Um, is it a cooler? dollhouse. Eh, it's a different dollhouse at least. And then I still put this thing in here. Uh, and then I also found this, which is apparently from the toddler stuff pack, which I just had completely forgotten existed when we put the toddler stuff into our previous house. So I put it over here. We have a little robot and yeah, I just, I really like this, this room. I think it's so nice. Moving on to the other side of the hallway, we have um, this door right that's coming out right here. That just leads to the same bathroom as we were in previously. And then this is the main living room. I really like that we have like a big TV and loads of sofas for people to sit in. And it's like a really cozy and nice space, I think. And then we also have this space over here, which is like a sitting group. If you don't want to watch TV, but you want to still be in the living room and still participate in the group than you can and there's another toy box out here and another radio and stuff so this is kind of like this is where the family is going to hang out most of the time we also have a massive fish tank which i'll probably completely forget to fill but you know it's there if we want it um and then this is kind of like the teen play area i guess um we have a little pumpkin station there like a pumpkin carving station that i've never used before but it was in the game and i was like sure why not um a little sofa and then i put these benches like in the window. I have no idea if they actually work and if the Sims can sit down in them, but I thought it was a cute idea. Um, then we have a foosball table and a piano and just some general music stuff that they can do in. Oh yeah, and this is um, a little greenhouse as well. Um, moving into here is kind of like Bridget's office, I guess. I, this was, this is the room that I've done the least with basically. Um, this is pretty much how it looked uh, already and I didn't really know what to do with it. I think I changed the desk and I put in a different chair here. Um, but there, I don't know, we don't really use a um, office. So it's just kind of an office. I might put in another desk with another computer at some point because computers seems to be quite popular with the uh, teens in this game. So maybe we, we need more things for them to hang around. Now let's head upstairs. So coming upstairs, we have this like little hallway area. And as you can see, there are a lot of doors here. Um, there's not that much going on in this hallway area apart from, oh yeah, there's another computer over there. And there's another little sitting group over here. And um, I think we're gonna start in this room over here. Um, I was gonna go in there, but this is, this is a bathroom. So we might as well just like see it now. There it is. Oh yeah, and I've put laundry, well, there were laundry things in um, this house already. And I was like, sure, we can do laundry. The maid does it anyway, so why not? Um, coming in here, we have Bridget's room. 
Um, I put an easel in here for her so that she can paint in peace. And then she has a little fireplace and walk-in closet and everything. Um, she also has her own private bathroom in here. Um, which is good. I don't think I'm gonna lock it so that no one can go in here because we'll probably need the bathroom, but she does have technically her own private bathroom. Um, and then also we have these two rooms on the side. Now, don't be too sad when you see what they are. Uh, <laughs> so these are the little cells that we're gonna have the babies in because I wanted them to be close to Bridget, but I didn't like that we had to like try for a baby in the same room as the already babies that made me feel really awkward so I just kind of built these teeny tiny rooms that the babies can sleep in and you know what it's fine we're just gonna leave them there and forget about them it'll be all good um then we have what's this room oh yeah this is the main right so what I've done in this house is um put more people in the same bedrooms oh that was the wrong way um so they still have like a lot of space and you can see these guys have more things to play with in here um but they have like there are four people sharing a bedroom so as before we had one person in each room but they were very small we now have bigger rooms but you have to share it with four people um not necessarily all the time what i've done in this room is not this room this house is uh put in enough beds for every type so that we have enough beds now to have seven toddlers at the same time and we also have enough beds to have um seven kids or teenagers at the same time so we don't have to keep swapping beds around which was a little bit annoying uh before uh out here we have a little balcony which i put these two little chairs in with some tall some tools some uh, toys and stuff here and a little drinks thing and just thought this was ooh, um this was a nice place to sit and relax and just look at the view really um, what else have we got? Oh yes, we have another bedroom in here with uh, teen beds. So here you have the last three of the kids slash teen beds. They have a dollhouse in here and a guitar and yeah, stuff. Oh yeah, they also have uh, this thing in here, which was already there and I was like, that's kind of funny, so I'm gonna leave it. Um, yeah, I haven't done most of the decoration in that room. Um, in here we have the main toddler bedroom. There are There's one toddler bed there and another one here. And then there's one in that corner and one in this corner. Um, they have a little toy box. I kind of ended up removing all of the toys that were already in this room to fit the two extra toddler beds. So um, yeah, these guys don't have as many toys in their room, but that's fine. Uh, and then moving on from this little sitting group here, we have the last toddler bedroom. They have a, um, a dollhouse and a bookcase and three toddler beds and quite a lot of toys actually, now that I look around. But that's good, good for them. Um, so yeah, that's all of the upstairs. Um, let's head down. Um, so if we head down, this is the main um, staircase again. If we head down here, we have a little secret area. That's not true. We can pretend that we have a little secret area. Right, so coming down this staircase, we have this little like hangout room, which is very much a basement room. As you can see, I haven't decorated any of this, but I kind of liked it, the TV and the, you know, place and everything. I put in a, an easel here as well. And then we have a wood working bench, wood crafting station. I can't quite remember. Um, we also have a guitar and a fridge and um, yes. Um, and then around here, we have another bathroom, um, which is quite small. It just looks like this. And then from the bathroom, dum -da -da -dum, we have a gym which is amazing because this was already here. Um, and I was like, this is perfect. This is exactly what we've been doing with Bridget. So she'll probably be spending quite a lot of time in here. <laughs> Moving back into the kitchen, we can go from here to the outside. Um, we have a little grill and a patio kind of place. And then obviously a swimming pool with a little hangout place over there. And um, you know, what's that called? Basketball, basketball place over there. Um, and then if we go around this way, we have the um, pirate ship that we also had in our other house and we have some uh, monkey bars. So that's pretty cool. Um, and we also have more toddler, not toddler. Well, yes, they are toddler. Um, we have toddler stuff on the other side here. Um, I decided to just put in the whole thing, even though I'm not a big fan of, oh, that's that's wrong. Uh, even though I'm not a big fan of the, um, uh, that thing, whatever that is, ball pit. Um, I decided to just put it in to check it out. And then there's another slide over there. Um, here, this door leads straight back into the play area. I thought that might be kind of nice if the toddlers are in the play area and they want to play with this, they now have the opportunity to. And then around the side here, we have 
trash bins and where we're gonna keep our dragon fruit. So yes, that is the whole house and I am very much excited and looking forward to playing in this slightly bigger space. I think it's gonna be very good for us. Right, let's see. First thing we need to do is have everyone claim beds. Um, you can come and claim that. Um, shall we do separate boys and girls beds or rooms? Uh, I guess we can. Then you can't claim that bed actually. Then that can't be your bed. Then that can be your bed and that can be your bed and that can be your bed and over here that can be your bed that can be your bed uh, that can be your bed and that can be your bed um, we're probably not gonna do separate boys and girls rooms going forward but just for now we might as well all right let's have a look you're struggling with fun well you know what dude there are so many things you can do in this house that are fun so Go explore. I kind of just want to see what everyone is going to do, to be honest with you. So go and do what you want to do. What are you going to do? You're going to go eat. What are you going to do? Nothing. Let's just hang on. You're going to go to bed. Um, oh, you guys are heading off. You're going to go to bed. You're going to pee. Wait, wait, wait. I want to see what everyone's doing. You're eating. You're watching TV. You're going to go to bed. You're going to go to bed. You're going to go to bed. You're going to play some stuff. You're going to go to bed and you're going to pee. Okay. Well, you guys are boring. This is a whole new house. Go play! Oh, we should probably check if we actually have have dragon fruit. Oh, thank god we do. Okay, good. I'm gonna just plonk all of these guys back in. Okay, all of those are back in. We even have two extra of these that we can um, use at some point, which is great. What are you guys um, doing? You're doing nothing right now, Bridget. Um, how about you cook some stuff in your new kitchen? Let's um, turn on some singer-songwriter, sure. And then you can cook something. Uh, let's do a roast chicken. To celebrate oh no 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 no! wait don't don't do anything hang on i had a plan invite no 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 don't invite no that was the wrong button i would like to plan a social event please what are you doing ah oh, you're sat in the living room that's so nice i like that you're on your phone as you're watching tv that's great um what are you doing yeah you're obviously playing on the computer i expected as much and what are you doing you're just standing in front of the toilet because why not how about you go to bed that might be good for you okay let's have a look house party is something I do want to do. We're not going to do it right away because um, everyone is sleeping. Is that the best thing for us to do? We could do a dinner party as well. Um, but no, let's do a house party um, when we get there. Uh, but you know what, Bridget? You actually can do some um, some cooking, just not a roast uh, chicken. Let's do um, some omelettes. That sounds good. But yes, we do need to throw a little bash so that we um, can celebrate the fact that we have a new house, you know? What are you gonna do now? You're gonna go to the toilet. What are you gonna do? You're gonna go to bed. What are you gonna do? You're going to eat? Question mark? Yes. And then you're gonna go back and watch more TV. Cool. Oh, I really like this house. I think it's super nice. And I like that we're not all like squished in to one tiny space. Um, well, it wasn't a tiny space. It was quite a big house, but this house is like so much bigger and it's pretty nice. I like it. Actually, what we can do, um, we can do a birthday party, can't we? Because let's have a look. Yeah, you, Beatrice, are ready to age up and so is Andy. And then I think Wilbert was an A student as well, but not Rory, right? Yeah, Rory still needs a bit of time, so we're not gonna age them up, but you're a grade A and you're a grade A. So four aging up things to do. So we might as well do, um, yeah, a birthday party once we've um, finished with uh, everyone sleeping. You're angry because you had a bad day at school? Oh, well, too bad. Um, okay, when you're done with that, Bridget, well done. Um, can you call everyone to meal, please? Come and eat, everyone. Um, and then I would like you to sit here, Bridget, while you're eating. That would be great. Are you all gonna come to the table? You're really angry. Okay, you're coming to the table. That's good. At least two of you are gonna eat here. It's a good start. Oh, is that four? That looks like four. Uh, Beth, you're still asleep, um, but I wouldn't mind if you got up as well and had a bit of food. And then everyone can be at the table at the same time. Oh, this is so nice. I love it. Hurry up, Beth. There's a spot for you. Also, is there someone who isn't at the table right now? Uh, you're not at the table. Why not? Come and have food. Grab a serving and then sit down here. You're going to grab a serving and then you're going to sit down there. You are downstairs for some reason. Good. Okay, go have food. Uh, are you gonna sit down? No, I told you to- no. I gave you direction to sit down there. I absolutely hate you guys. Ugh. You're not gonna sit down there, are you? 
Nope. Well, some of the family is gathered at least. It's something. Good. Well, I mean, I tried. It's pretty annoying that you guys decided to sit there, actually, but... Uh, I guess we'll just deal with it. Um, Bridget, I would like you now to plan a social event, please, because we need to throw a birthday party. Bridget decided to not plan a social event. She just kind of stood in the corner for a little while. That's great, Bridget. Very helpful. Oh, Beatrice, you're going downstairs. What are you doing? Oh, you're just cleaning up? That's really boring. All right, let's see. We are going to have a birthday party. And the birthday sims are Beatrice and Andy, and then Bob and Marie. Right? Yes, I think so. Guests, everyone else, really. Um, everyone who's in our household. And you know what? Let's not invite everyone who's in our household. Let's just start from the bottom and see how many people we can invite. Because everyone else can just kind of... Yeah, then we can't invite Bridget. Uh, brilliant. Okay, let's see. Caterer. Uh, right, okay. How about we invite Victoria as a caterer? Then we can invite Bridget too. Okay, I'm not sure who actually got invited then because that was a little bit confusing. Um, but yes, we are gonna have our party here. Let's see who shows up. Uh, is everyone changing into their party outfits? Yes, they are. Okay, good. That thing is glitching in and out a little bit. That's a bit annoying. Okay. Um, you're feeling great, my friend. Um, dance skill acquired. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. Let's um, turn on some um, kids' radio. No, let's turn on some pop, because why not? Um, okay, we need to make a cake, Bridget. You might as well start baking a cake, because do I know Victoria right? She is not going to do it for a little while. So let's have you do a blue confetti cake. Um, yeah, Victoria's just going downstairs. Brilliant. Um, is anyone... Um, th this is the only problem with having a big house, because I don't know if, like, all of our guests have arrived, or if they're just, like, haven't arrived, or if we just... I don't know. Are there anyone else upstairs? You're sleeping up here. No, oh, that's good. Uh, no, I don't think there's anyone here, so... There's just not that many people coming to our party. Hello, are you doing alright? This party kind of sucks. No one showed up. No one knows where our new address is. You're gonna just sit there? Are you trying to make food but not succeeding? I don't understand. Where are you going? Are you taking that? Why did you take that? I'm so confused. What? Did you just take that and put it in there? Okay, well, Connor's arrived at least. But apart from that, I haven't seen any actual guests. Everyone else is just kind of the people in our household? Um, okay, Bridget, can you pretty please? No, hang on, pause. Can you, uh, cake must be in the center. Okay, well, let's just have you put it down. There you go, good job. Can you guys not put food on that table? That would be great. Um, okay, then I need um, you, my friend, to go and blow out the candles. Maybe there's just too much stuff here. Oh, I can't do this uh, while the sim is aging up. Good. Hurry up and blow out your candles. Here we go. Beatrice is aging up. Whoop whoop. Are you gonna do it? Everyone's celebrating, but you're not actually aging up. Oh, she has to blow out the candles again. Good job. Yay, Beatrice is aged up. Let's give her the cheerful trait. I feel like that's kind of cute. And let's add some more birthday candles. Please. Thank you. And then... Andy needs to blow out the candles too. Andy's a genius. Indeed he is. Let's see if he's managed to blow out the candles. Are you coming? Yes, he's coming. Okay, cool. Blow him out, bro. Make me proud and don't look so sad. There you go. You did it in one go. Oh, nice um, screenshot there. Okay, you're a party animal. You're hot-headed. You're genius. Um, goodness, that's a weird combination. Um, let's make you... Let's make you ambitious. Is that weird? You're a party animal. Uh, that is a little bit weird. Um, let's make you a glutton. Why not? Good job. Are you- Oh, you're singing the song. Wilbert, I love you. Yes, I know you're sleepy. You just put candles on the cake. Thank you. Now, Bob, come here and blow out some candles. Here he comes. Looking real sad. Can you go over here, Bridget, and like actually see all of your kids age up? There she is. Come on, Bob. Do it in one go. I believe in you. You could do it. And he, I think he did it in one go. Good job. 
Now, age up, please. Cool. <laughs> You're looking good, Bob. Right, so we made him a bookworm. Um, how does that work then? Maybe you can um, want to write something? Best-selling author? Why not? And then we can have him be a goofball. Oh, that's quite an outfit there, Bob. Love it. Uh, add some birthday candles, please. Stop singing, Wilbert, every time someone aged up. Christ. Okay, Marie, come here. Blow out the candles. I know you're about to fall asleep, but do it anyway. Here she is. Come on. And she's blown out the candles. Is she going to do it in one go? That is a definite no. Try again. Do it again. You can do it. And there we go. Oh, Bridget is going insane. <laughs> Right, so we made her a perfectionist, so she can... Ooh, what can she do? You want to be good at many things at once? I guess that makes sense. Um, and you can be slightly clumsy as well. Why not? Cool. I like that outfit, Marie. Um, you can now call everyone to meal, please. So everyone comes and has a bite of cake. Come and have cake, everyone. Everyone is grabbing cake. Cool. Are you guys going to sit here? You're sat there as well. Good. Um... Yeah, not a lot of people at this party. It's basically just us. It's this family and Connor, for some reason. He's the only other person who got invited. Not quite sure how that works because I definitely invited more people like Rose and Alice and, you know, Jane and everyone really, but no one arrived. Oh, Marie just fell asleep on the floor. Brilliant. Uh, everyone is eating cake. You're about to fall asleep on the floor as well. Okay, so everyone didn't get as much sleep as they kind of needed before this party. Bridget is the only one who's doing fine and that's because she's a seldom sleeper. Um, yeah, you're falling asleep as well. Right, maybe it's time to end this party then. Birthday party complete. Good. It wasn't a great one um, because no one showed up for reasons unknown. But at least Connor showed up. You're a good friend, Connor. Or lover, I guess. Um, actually, Bridget, we need to figure out who your next... Uh, baby daddy is gonna be because everyone's gonna be moving out soon. Well right now actually because you guys are young adults now Let's have a look. Yeah, you're a young adult now. So you have to move out Um, so hang on. Let's have a look at Bridget. Who do you know my friend? Okay, she doesn't really know anyone right now Um, but that's all right because we can just um, head off into the world and see what happens Um, but yes, I'm gonna let everyone sleep and then tomorrow morning we can move out Um. Beatrice and Andy because I feel like they deserve a little bit of sleep right now and yeah everyone is basically going to bed are you going to bed yeah you should go to bed as well my friend because you're about to die please go to bed you're gonna go to bed Bridget is gonna go to bed okay cool everyone off to bed and then I'll see you in the morning okay it is half past five and you're up that is fair because uh, you need to pee so go pee and then you can go back to sleep I guess okay and now Bridget is awake and yeah you definitely need a bath so <laughs> Go do that. Now Bridget is feeling flirty, which is brilliant because we are going to be doing a little bit of flirting in a second, Bridget. Oh, you're awake. I didn't notice. Hello. What are you going to do? Go pee maybe? Because that's something you need right now. What could you do? Oh, flush. Well, you're going to do that anyway. Go have a pee. You're up as well, which means you, you should have probably been the one to pee in there. Um, you can go pee where Bridget is and then Bridget, you go here. Uh, Bridget, you can go downstairs and do some exercise, I guess. Uh, what else? Is everyone else pretty much ready to wake up? Yeah, you're starving, but that's fine. Okay, I think I'm gonna um, move Beatrice and Andy here out of the household and then I will see you in a bit. Okay, here we are back with the people. This is um, their new apartment. It was kind of hard to actually find an apartment that they could afford now that the cheaper apartments in the game have already been given out. Um, so I think we might have to start cheating them into houses and just pretend that Bridget kind of buys the furniture or something for them and then we can just remove all of their starter money. Where are you going? Are you both going to go to the computer? Oh no! Oh, you guys have a little balcony! I didn't even notice. That's really cute. Um, but yeah, they have a bedroom each and a little nice sofa, playing area. Um, this bathroom has the same thing as a fire. Seriously, dude, you, oh my God. Oh my God. Please don't tell me that you're about to die. Okay, well, you're on fire. So yeah, this is going really well, Andy. If you die now, this would be ridiculous. Don't, not you, Beatrice, please. Yes, be the savior of the day. Don't let Andy die. You can do it. 
Oh, okay. Well, they got money from the insurance company, which is good. And Andy didn't die. So, all in all, I think they did pretty well. You go take a bath, Andy. Um, and then we can replace that, I guess. Christ, I was not expecting that to be so dramatic. I was just gonna, you know, <laughs> move them into their new house. Um, note to self, don't ever let Andy ever make anything. Ever. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that is, um, that is there. Uh, house, we need to get them sorted with jobs and I want Beatrice to be in a club as well because that is something she wants to do. Let's have a look. I was thinking these guys, um, come hang out. Blah -de -blah -de -de. Do you want to come? Um, no, I don't really want to do anything to be a part of a club. I just want to be part of the club. Um, okay, let's just join these guys because they seemed more happy with having me which is cool um and then we need to get you a job my friend which is in here okay so um beatrice's highest skill is cooking but i don't really want her to be a chef because we already have a chef in the family um and i have never played with the detective thing in this game and that sounds kind of fun not that we are going to play with it um in this series but she might as well be a detective why not um and then andy needs to join a career what is your highest level that is also cooking so that's great that's not very helpful can you call while you're in the bath no okay well i'm just gonna have to wait for you then um beatrice can you maybe make some um dinner while we wait for andy i am um, i trust you more to be honest okay andy is out of the bath and he's about to call to get a job hmm let's have a look you are a party animal. Mm. <laughs> Secret agent? I mean, you do like fires. <laughs> sure, that's that's fine by me. Um, you should probably pee as well, my friend. Also, why are you still all gross? Let's have you change your outfit into that. Welcome to the neighborhood. Oh my God, are you guys are welcome wagon? That is amazing. Yes, I forgot to say that we moved them into the same building as these guys, but that is that is amazing. Alice has fruit cake with her. I love it. Um, can you invite them in, please? Because I would really like to have you guys in our apartment. Yeah, go and invite them in, and then just yeah. Hello. Do you like our new apartment? It's kind of shit compared to everyone else's, but that's fine. Um, let's go talk to them. Oh yeah, you guys don't greet new neighbor. Dude, she's your half-sister, um, which, okay, you go, apparently know her, but you don't know these guys. Have you guys met? You have met, you haven't met her, and you haven't met her. So, okay, let's meet up, I guess. If you guys had come to our party earlier, you would have seen us. You would have known who we are. Um, how weird is that? It would be like, hey, right, so you're, you're another one of my half-siblings. Nice to meet you. I don't know why we all have to live in the same building, but, and on the same floor, but nice to meet you, I guess. <laughs> Pretty awkward. <laughs> I hope you like the fruitcake. It's a family heirloom. Ah, uh, is it Alice? Or have you just pretended that it is? Because this is not the right crowd to pretend that something's a family heirloom. <laughs> okay guys, well, I'm gonna end the episode here. In the next episode, we need to get Bridget pregnant once again, and then just have some more fun in our new house. I'm very excited to get down and, play in our new house and um yeah have a proper look around but until then i don't know how i was gonna end that episode or that sentence that's not how i end these episodes um i will see you guys in the next episode